So we're on our final homework page now for lesson 11 of our ready book. This is adding and subtracting fractions in word problems. Problem number one says write the missing numbers to show equivalent fractions for some common numbers used as benchmark fractions. So remember these are equivalent fractions. So 1 fourth is equal or equivalent to 2 eighths. Remember what are we doing to forge turn into 8? We're multiplying it by 2, so we're doing the same thing to our numerator. 1 times 2 is 2. So 1 fourth is equivalent to something over 12, so we multiplied our 4 by 3 to turn into 12. So we're doing our same thing to our 1. We're multiplying it by 3, so it would be 3 twelfths. Down here, 1 half is the same thing as something over 8. That would be a 4. We multiplied our 2 by a 4 to get 8. We multiply our 1 by a 4, we get our 4. What are we doing to 2 to turn into 10? We're multiplying it by 5. So we do our same thing to our numerator, and we get a 5 right there. All right, 3 fourths is equal to something over 8. That would be a 6 eighths, because remember this is the same thing. 3 fourths is the same thing as 6 eighths. What could we do to 4 to turn it into a 12 multiplied by 3? So 3 times 3 is 9. All right, so now this one's our fun one, I think. 2 is the same thing as 2 over 1. Remember, any number that's a whole number can be turned into a fraction if we stick it over 1. So to turn 1 into a 2 would be multiplying it by 2. So turn, do the same thing to our numerator, multiply it by 2, we would get a 4. To turn 1 into a 4, we'd multiply it by 4. So 2 times 4 would give us an 8. Problem number two says, the Graf family made two pizzas. They ate one and one eighth pizza before watching a movie and one half pizza more after the movie, which is a reasonable estimate for the amount of pizza left. Okay, so before the pizza, they ate just a little bit more than one pizza. So one and one eighth pizza. And then after the pizza, they ate another half. So what's a reasonable estimate for the amount of pizza that they have left? Is it less than a half, more than half, less than one and one fourth, more than one and one fourth? Okay, so Tammy chooses A as the correct answer. And how'd she get that answer? So let's think about this. So while they're getting ready to watch this movie, they eat an entire piece of pizza. Yum, yum, yum. So then after the movie, they eat half. And remember, we are just estimating here. So one other thing I didn't consider before the movie, they also ate one eighth. So that's kind of like this. So that means after the movie, they still have all of this left. So that's gonna be a little bit less than one half. And that's because before the movie, they ate one and one eighth pizza. So Tammy correctly estimated that since one and one eighth is a little bit more than one, then they ate more than one and one half pizzas. So they ate more than one and one half pizzas. So they have less and a half a pizza left. So our next question says, Lexi bought one and two fifth pounds of green grapes and two and three tenths pounds of red grapes. Grapes are $2.99 a pound. Did Lexi spend more or less than $12 on grapes? Explain. Notice how we're not actually finding out the exact amount of money she spent on grapes. It's just asking us to estimate. Okay, so I'm looking at the green grapes and it says one and two fifths pounds of green grapes. So I could either say that this is closer to one or one and a half using our benchmark fractions. And I know that half of five is two and a half because if I take five and I divide it, five divided by two is 
two and a half. So it's just slightly less than half. So I'm gonna still say, even if we round it up a little bit, that the green grapes would be maybe close to one and a half, but it's a little bit less. And our red grapes, two and three tenths pounds, well, we know half of 10 is five, and that's not close to five. It's almost five, but it's not. So we could even still say that this is two and a half. It's not quite though. Um, so we could say that it's less than four pounds altogether, because it's still, these are not even complete halves we rounded up. So we could say that the grapes are a little, this is less than four pounds because these are being very generously rounded up. And then we know that they are $2.99 a pound. So the grapes are actually less than $3 per pound, a little bit less than that. So we could kind of take, since they're less than $4 a pound, we could take our four times our three, and we know that it's less than $3 a pound, and we know that this doesn't really add up to four, and we could say that we know this would be $12, but we know she's gonna spend less than $12 because we rounded up here and we rounded up here. So the answer is gonna be less than $12 for her grapes. Problem number four is uh, one that you're gonna have to do on your own. It says, on Monday, Marco practiced the piano for seven tenths of an hour. On Tuesday, he practiced for one and five sixth hours. He's supposed to practice one and one fourth hours each day. So he was a little short here on Monday, right? Use this information to write a question that involves adding or subtracting fractions. So you could say something like, how much longer should Marco have practiced on Monday? Where you could be either adding or subtracting. I'm not gonna give that away. Or you could say, how much longer did he practice on Tuesday than on Monday? Something like that. So that's just an example.